Um, they're not as numerous as the Marilla tree, the jackalberry, and that's probably why we don't see them, the leopards up them as much. But I also think that the Marilla is typically more of a comfortable tree. The horizontal branches are perfectly horizontal and often very thick. Although if you look at them now, you, it doesn't seem like you could get much more comfortable. Well, there's a room behind us where guests could be sitting on their deck watching this leopard. And there are guests in this, staying here in this room at the moment, so they hopefully will be able to enjoy a sighting tomorrow morning. He might still be here tomorrow morning. There still seems like a fair amount of meat on the kill. But hard to say how quickly he'll eat it. And it also depends on how much he drops down to the hyena below. It's still playing on my mind how close we drove to him in this tree when we came down to view these elephants. And didn't have a clue he was here. And it just goes to show how lucky we have to be to find these animals and also how much we need to tune into the other sounds and noises around us. If it wasn't for those monkeys and also the hyena, we would have had no chance in finding this animal. Folks, we've had such a great view of him so far. And what I think we'll do is we're going to make space. There are a lot of other vehicles that are interested in coming to have a look at him. And then we'll rejoin the sighting a little bit later, hopefully when he starts to feed again. So we certainly will come back. But for now, let's try and share this with everybody. And We will head off and there's so much other action around and I'm thinking of possibly even heading to the hyena den sites. Uh, that's an option. We haven't been there for a few days and we'll come back here a little bit later. Or who knows, maybe even Brent can come and have a look. He can get his leopard fixed a little bit later potentially. We will continue now and see what happens. <laughs> 